Hi, I'm Dr. Rhonda McDowell, and I'm a board-certified radiologist. An MRI is an imaging technique which provides very detailed uh, pictures of the inside structures of the body. It's especially good for looking at the brain and the spinal cord, but is also very useful for looking at the internal structure of the joints, such as the knee or the shoulders, and also for problem solving when we see lesions in the liver or in the um, structures of the pelvis. Some of the reasons that our clinical colleagues order MRIs are to uh, evaluate for whether a patient has had a stroke. Um, the early signs of a stroke can be very subtle and can be missed on other studies such as a CT scan of the head, but uh, there are some special sequences we can do with the MRI examination that will show those in very uh, great detail. Uh, another uh, typical time when we see uh, an MRI ordered is for people that are having long-term back pain that hasn't um, responded to his typical therapies. Um, the MRI gives us very good detail of where the nerves are being pinched from, say, like herniated discs, or if there are arthritic changes in the, in the spine. Uh, same thing with uh, shoulder pain or knee pain, uh, to see the internal structures of the, of the knee. An MRI can detect uh, very subtle changes of disease in the body. Uh, for instance, it can detect uh, the earliest signs of a stroke. Um, it can see very small uh, lesions like tumors in the brain or sometimes in the liver with greater detail than we can with any of our other imaging studies. Um, it can also show us the soft tissues of uh, the knee or the shoulder, structures that we can't see with a regular x-ray, uh, the tendons, the muscles around the bones uh, to help diagnose if there's a tear or other problems with the, with the joints. The difference between an MRI and a CT is the way that the images are acquired. Um, a CT scan uses ionizing radiation just as a regular x-ray does. Uh, the MRI does not use ionizing radiation. It uses a magnet field and radio waves to take the picture. The difference in how we use an MRI and a CT um, oftentimes has to do with um, that the MR oftentimes is more used for problem solving uh, questions. For instance, we may have done a CT scan of the abdomen and see that there's a spot on the liver. Uh, the MR sequences that we can do can help define what that lesion is um, and sometimes help us tell if it's a benign or malignant lesion and therefore um, oftentimes save the patient from having like a biopsy to further diagnose what the lesion is. Oftentimes the CT scan is our first screening examination and then the MR is a more of a problem solving exam. Uh, for instance, when we have someone that comes in with a stroke, um, the first test oftentimes is a CT scan uh, to see if there is any bleeding into the brain. Um, if there is no bleeding, but we still are suspecting that the patient's symptoms are consistent with a stroke, then we might get an MRI examination because that's very sensitive for um, detecting this early signs of a stroke.